Today I'm making a classic BLT, that is bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich with the healthy twist. That's what I like to do. And by that I mean I'm going to be using gluten-free bread, though you don't have to use that. You can use any bread you want. And the bread I'm using comes from a recipe that I have on my site, which I'm going to leave a link for you. And you can make it. It is super easy to make and it's delicious. I'm adding avocado to this, which lends itself beautifully to this sandwich with the bacon. It's just fabulous. And then I am making a little sauce to go on this sandwich other than just regular mayo, which you could certainly do. But I'm making mine with harissa paste. And it's going to give it some nice flavor. It's got a little tiny bit of heat in it and you're going to love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What's a pig's favorite song? I'll give you a hint, Elton John. Don't go bacon my heart. Okay, I wanna start off talking about the gluten-free bread that I'm using in this recipe. Now, this is a video that I have that gives you all the details on how to make it, so check that out if you're interested. It's gluten-free, it is a great sandwich bread. Uh, it stays nice and soft. It's probably one of the best breads that I've ever had. I will leave a link in the description of this video so that you can check it out. For our bacon in this recipe, I'm using Applegate's uh, natural uncured Sunday bacon because it's thin and there's no nitrates in it. For the lettuce, I'm using an organic romaine heart here. This works great for a BLT because it has a nice crunch and it holds its shape. We'll need a nice big slice of tomato for our sandwich. And of course, we need our avocado. So let's start off by making that special sauce that I was telling you about. And we're gonna start with some avocado mayo because it's heart healthy. Now, Primal Kitchen is my favorite avocado mayo because I think it just tastes the best. Now to that, we're gonna add some harissa paste, which is a very delicious hot chili pepper paste with herbs and spices. I got it at Trader Joe's, and I tell you, this adds so much flavor to this little sauce, you're gonna love it. So we'll give that a little mix. And that's all there really is to this sauce. It's just, it gives it a little extra something with that harissa paste. Now remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Check it out. Now before I start cooking the bacon, I'm gonna prep up the rest of my stuff. So I have the tomato cut, now I need to get my lettuce ready. So just whack your uh, stem out of the lettuce there. It comes right out, cut it in half, and you've got some nice good sized pieces. I prefer that as opposed to bite-sized pieces because this will stay in there and they won't fall out of your sandwich when you're eating it. I'm going to cut my avocado into slices so I can lay some pieces right there on the sandwich and hopefully they'll stay where they where I put them. As long as you cut this right before you're going to you know do your sandwiches you won't have to put any lemon juice on it but you could and that'll keep it from turning brown. Then peel off the skin if you can and then you'll have some nice slices ready to go. And I also recommend just putting a little bit of salt on your avocado. It just brings out the flavor so much better. All right, we're ready to start cooking. So I'm gonna use three slices of bacon per sandwich, but you can use more if you like more, that's fine. We're gonna lay it in the pan and you never wanna overcrowd your pan when you're cooking bacon, right? Cause I like mine to stay flat and get cooked on all sides, you know, nice and flat. You know how sometimes it'll curl up and you've got, you know, a fat that doesn't get cooked well. I know how to avoid that. So I'm gonna start this off over medium heat and then I'll probably lower it to, to low heat after it gets going. You can see here that I keep turning the bacon over and I'm keeping it nice and flat. And you can see it's really shrunk up quite a bit and it's gonna shrink up even a little bit more. So how do you know when your bacon's done? Well, you just keep cooking it and flipping it over until it gets a nice golden brown. It looks crispy, it just looks done. And then you just take it out, place it on a paper towel covered plate. It must be time for chef joke number two. What would happen if pigs could fly? The price of bacon would skyrocket. It is time to put our sandwich together, but first we're going to toast up our bread. Now I like to put it in a pan like this with some olive oil because olive oil is heart healthy and an oil that we should all be eating more of. Put your pan on medium heat and roll your bread right in the oil and make sure it's nicely coated. Once the bread gets nicely toasted, give it a little check, have a peek, look at that, perfect. Then we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna put more oil in the pan or you can put it on the bread, but I, I think putting it in the pan works best. And then we'll just flip it over and cook the second side the same way. 
Now that our bread is toasted, we're ready to put this sandwich together. So I'm gonna start off here with my uh, sauce here and we'll just put a nice smattering right on top of that bread and spread it around. I'm using a lot of sauce here because I really think it brings the sandwich together and I love the sauce. So use as much or as little of the sauce as you want, but I bet you you're gonna use more. So next we've got that big slice of tomato and my three slices of crispy bacon. Here comes our leaves of romaine lettuce. Three pieces should cover it. And several slices of avocado, which is definitely heart healthy. Now, because I love this sauce so much, I'm gonna spread some more of it on my top piece of toast. Oh yeah, look at that. Now I'm gonna cut it in half for you just so you can see the inside. Listen to that crunch. It even sounds delicious. Doesn't this sandwich just look incredible? All right, I'm going in for my taste. This sandwich is crispy and crunchy, just full of flavor. It's got that creaminess from the avocado and of course that sauce, which has just a tiny bit of heat and just some, so much flavor. It is delicious. And if you'd like to try a little dessert after this BLT, check out my high protein chocolate chip cookies. They are delicious. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the video. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you know somebody who might enjoy some gluten-free bread, share that with them. And let me know what you think of the recipe down below in the comments. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.